Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Now guys, a couple of words on the gold market. The gold market uh, is closed today, uh, but recently market has shown some action and we could uh, discuss what to expect based on the non-farm payrolls release and what we will get on the Monday, because market will be closed till Monday, uh, besides European markets mostly also will be closed even on Monday. So on the daily chart goals as uh, euro currency also keeps the chances on upward continuation since upward action was nice, retracement was relatively small, so market has reached just a 50% support and uh, uh, has held above the weekly pivot point, or sorry, monthly pivot point. By this action it keeps the chances on the upward continuation at least to the 618 extension of the ABC bottom right here is round big uh, monthly pivot resistance one and daily ever buy maybe market will move slightly higher uh, as we will see based on the passion that we have on the forward time frame chart so trend here is bullish and technically we understand that the non-farm payroll release will clarify everything and could change the situation drastically but currently the technical market keeps the chances on the upward continuation on the forward time frame chart the most probable passion how it could happen um, this could be the butterfly because uh, as we discussed yesterday, uh, take a look, uh, different action here and here. So here it was gradual moving, move back, move down. So overlapping candles, uh, gradual action, slower than here. But here we have upside explosive action. It mostly has the features of the thrust of the impulse action. And that's why it makes us think that that was the retracement, and that is the continuation of that action. Okay. So that's why if the market will show some retracement down here, that's also keep an eye on that's this also a slow action compared to this one. That could be the butterfly. Uh, we do not know yet whether the market will show a bit deeper retracement, uh, but it it will not change the overall passion. If the market will start rally right from this uh, right from this point, the butterfly will be just a bit more steep. So that's such, such sort of the shape it will has. Uh, it will it will have, but if market will show the deep, by, uh, slightly deeper retracement here, this could be a bit different butterfly, but it will not change the target. The target of this butterfly stands it's approximately 12:30 area. It's very close to the target that we have on the daily chart. So 12:25 approximately 12:30, right at the area of daily ever buy. Uh, on the hourly chart, guys, the pattern that we have discussed, I mean the double repo sale, has worked nice. So you can see the market has hit the 50% support. That's the minimum target of the double repo. This thrust, the double repo 50% support of the thrust, that's the minimum target. And shows the bounce up. Um, here, guys, we can't exclude that market could show ABCD retracement, for example. So. This could really bring market right back down to the 1190 area that we have discussed. For example, um, say if non-farm payrolls release data will be uh, will will match expectations. In this case, this could trigger the minor downward action, the dollar strength. But probably this uh, strength will be not very significant, and market will keep the chance on the possible upward continuation here. Uh, or if market will show the non-farm payroll slightly worse than expected, around say 230 thousands, for example. Uh, but uh, anyway, the chances on the upward down downward retracement exist, and market really could uh, reach 1190 area. If it will not happen and data will be worse than expected, especially below the 200 thousands. In this case, guys, we, we could get really upward continuation right from this area, and in this case, the butterfly will take the steep shape as we have uh, drawn here. So anyway, um, the major point that we're interested in here is just these lows. So if the market will move lower and taking out of these lows, in this case, yes, our short-term bullish setup will fail, 
and in this case we should be ready for a downward continuation but this probably would, will happen only if the data will be uh, positive uh, better than expected and I, th I think that should be somewhere around 270 280 in this case we could think that this really could be a downward uh, plunge that could erase the short term bullish setup <coughs> But uh, all other numbers probably will keep chance on upward continuation, either from this area or from that one. But we probably guys will see it only on Monday since market is closed today. Uh, and this will be open this trading session. United States will be open only on Monday, but European markets uh, will be closed on Monday as well. So now all that we could do, the technical moments we have discussed, all that we could do right now is just to wait numbers what the non-farm pearls will, will bring us and how gold will react. 